Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the newly improved invoicing capabilities that we have available in pipe drive. Now, if you have any questions about anything in this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you do want one on one help with setting up or optimizing your pipe drive account, maybe you want to automate more of your sales process or just improve how you're using it, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about about my Pipedrive consulting services. Now, Pipedrive has had invoicing capabilities for a little while, but it's recently been improved and made a lot more powerful. And Pipedrive have given me a sneak peek at what the new invoicing capabilities can do, and so I wanted to just share that with you today. Now, depending on the time you're watching this video, you may not even have access to these new capabilities in your account just yet, but rest assured, these are coming out soon. So, getting into my Pipedrive account, one of the first things you're going to want to do to set up the invoicing capabilities is head on over to the invoicing section of the tools and apps area in your pipe drive settings. Now from here, you can integrate with either your QuickBooks or your Xero accounting tool. I've already gone ahead and connected my Xero account. You simply log in, you authenticate to connect your account. And then you'll arrive on a screen like this where you can choose the default preferences for how you want the invoices to be filled in. So you can see here for the who the invoice should be made out to, I'm using here the name of the organization. That's probably the most common thing people are going to do. I could, if I want, if I choose this drop down menu, I could look, I could use the person's name, uh, the, the contact linked with my deal if I prefer. But as I said, most people are going are to choose the company name. For the address that the invoice should be made out to, again, you've got some options here. You can choose any custom field or, uh, or default field in your account. I'm using the address listed under the company. And then in terms of who the invoice should be sent to, I'm choosing here to set, use the email of the primary contact that I've linked with my deal. This again could be a custom field. Maybe you have a field for uh, like an accounting address that invoices should be sent to. You could absolutely use your own custom field as well. But in this case, I'm just gonna choose to send this to whoever the primary contact linked with my deal is. If you want to put tax IDs on your invoices, again, you can link a custom field in here. I've actually left that blank for now. And you can choose your default due date settings for your invoice payments. So I've said this is uh, my invoices is due seven days after the invoice is issued, but I could have it due the following month, the current month, um, or after the end of the month of issue at a specified time as well. So that's the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fill in all your kind of default preferences for an invoice and then go ahead and click save. Once I have the Xero or QuickBooks integration set up, I can now create a draft invoice from my Pipedrive account and it's gonna pull in information about the contact, about the organization, and even the product data on my deal. And that can fill in the line items on my invoice. So before I create an invoice, what I'm actually gonna do is add some products to this deal. So let's go ahead and add in here maybe Asana Consulting, and I'm going to set my price. You know, maybe that's, uh, let's say, 1500 And I'll add another line, let's say, for a private session. They're going to do five sessions. Uh, there we go. So I've added some line items with prices and quantities. I could even add tax percentages or even discounts in here as well. I can add my discount column. Maybe I wanna give a, let's say 10% discount on that private session rate. So I'll go ahead and save those products on my deal. Now, just a quick note, with products that you've added to your Pipedrive account, when you click on uh, the details of one of your products, pay attention to the product code. If you want your products to map to items or products and services that you have in your accounting software, so for example, here is my Xero account, you're going to want to make sure the item codes here match with the product code. So you can see in this case, the product code for the Asana Consulting package is 9099, which I've linked here to the item code in Xero. That's gonna ensure that when I create my invoice, the products that I've chosen on my deal actually map to the products and services in Xero and they are like for like the same and the products in Xero get updated with what I'm actually quoting and invoicing for in Pipedrive. So now my deal is ready to go. I'm almost ready to create my invoice. I've got some products attached to the deal. 
Down here, I can see the contact is linked and I've got the email address of the contact set up so that the invoice can be emailed to the correct person. I've linked with an organization, so Palm Consulting, and I have an address in here, 123 Infinite Loop in Cupertino. So now I can click the invoice button up here and create a new invoice. So let's look at a few details on this invoice screen. So first thing is the invoice is linked with the Palm Consulting organization. And I've actually got a little warning up here and it's telling me that the contact is not linked with a contact in zero. So I have a couple of options. Either I can link to an existing contact and I could, if I want, search for Warwick Palm. Pipedrive is then gonna search my zero account and it has found a Warwick Palm contact. So I could link the this organization here to the Warwick Palm contact in my zero account or if I want I could create a new contact for Palm Consulting. In this case because Palm Warwick Palm already exists in zero I want the invoices to be attached to that existing contact so I'm going to link to the existing I'm going to go ahead and click confirm in there and so now I've got the green check that means that this invoice is going to be linked with that existing contact which is great. You can see the address from the organization in Pipedrive has been um, populated up here, as has the address of the, the email address of the contact. On the right hand side, I can choose my tax settings. So the prices at the moment I can set to be exclusive or inclusive of tax, or if I want to do, charge no tax at all, I can do that. I can set the date of issuance, which is today, and when this is due. So this is defaulting to seven days from now based on those settings I set up earlier. But I could change this if I want. I could say, actually, I'm not going to have this due until maybe the 20th of the following month. I can choose my currency and I can choose what template I want to use from my Xero account. Because Xero supports multiple invoice template options with different branding and, and options, I can choose from a list of available templates here. I only have one standard invoice template, so that's what I've got selected. Now, down here, you can see my items have been attached to the invoice as well. So because I had that item code specified on my product, Pipedrive was able to link that to an item or a product in Xero. So I've linked to Asana Consulting. I could change the description here if I want. So I could say, you know, custom project, and I could say, you know, five hours. You can see my quantities and my prices and even my discount has been pulled in from that product data, which is great. I can choose which account do I want to link this purchase with. So this is obviously a payable because it's an invoice that I'm sending. So I can link that with my accounts payable uh, zero account, but I could link that to a different account if I choose to. And I can change my uh, GST or my tax settings here as well. So I'm pretty happy with this. This is all good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this invoice. Once my invoice has been created, you'll see a little uh, note gets added to the timeline of my deal here. So I can see the invoice to Warwick has been created and it's currently in draft mode. So it hasn't actually been sent yet. Now I can submit this for approval. So the accountant who looks after my zero account can um, actually approve this and then send it. So me as the salesperson, you know, maybe I don't have that authority, but you know, I've, I've made the life, uh, the job of the accountant a lot easier by populating the invoice with all of the details ready to go. So I can just sit, submit that for approval to fast track the process. So once I have approved and sent my invoice, I have a couple of options now on the invoice here. I can click this button and I can copy a link if I want to share and send a link to the invoice via email. Or if I click the little three dots here, I can void the invoice, I can send an email, I can download a PDF, or I can open it in zero if I want to have a look at it there. So if you see in here, you can see all of the uh, information from my deal, uh, the product data, the quantities, the amounts are all showing correctly. So without having to manually copy and paste this across, uh, it just makes setting up that invoice in Zero really quick and easy. Now, one of the other nice improvements to the invoicing integration is how outstanding balances get shown in Pipedrive. So if I scroll down on my sidebar, I have this new invoicing section here. And because I have the contact in Pipedrive here linked with a contact in Zero, I can refresh this field and it's going to show me all of the amounts currently due or all of the invoices currently outstanding for this client. So I can see here Palm Consulting, the organization, is linked with Warwick Palm, the contact in Zero, And for this time frame, for this quarter that we're currently in, I can see I actually have a total amount of just under $4,000 currently outstanding with this client. 
uh, one of those invoices is currently overdue and zero dollars have been paid. I can click here to view all invoices. So I can see actually uh, one invoice that's overdue. This was supposed to be paid six days ago. Here's the newly created one uh, that I sent today. And uh, and so I can see just at a, as a snapshot in, in Pipedrive, how many payments am I currently chasing for this particular client? So it means I can spend more of my time in Pipedrive instead of having to switch to zero to go and have to retrieve the information there. I don't have to email my accountant to work out the status of different invoices. I get a lot more visibility than I used to now here in Pipedrive. And of course, the other thing is when this invoice gets paid, when my accountant is reconciling transactions and marks the invoice as having been paid, these numbers get updated. So again, me as the salesperson, I don't have have to be checking zero. I can be just looking here in Pipedrive to see how much do I need to be chasing the client for at any given time. And so there you have it. That is a little look at the newly improved invoicing capabilities here inside Pipedrive. If you are a QuickBooks or a Zero user, to me, this is a bit of a no brainer. You may as well go ahead and connect Pipedrive with your accounting software so that you can start to quickly draft invoices and uh, it helps you avoid having to double enter information in two different systems. It also helps reduce the chance of errors. If I maybe copy the wrong numbers or the wrong quantities, obviously I don't wanna be billing for the wrong amounts. So it helps kind of reduce the chance for errors as well. As I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.